Hello. Mm. Doing a bit of experimental recording. Let's see if I can get some better sounds. Mm. Improve my techniques for recording. Mm. So, here's just a little riff from Capitalist. Here's what it sounds like. Let's get some bass back in here. Okay, that's sort of what we're going to say. Okay, begin with... This is all based off of watching a Rick Beato video today and gave me some ideas, so I thought I'd give it a bit of a try because I've got some terrible recording techniques and I need to learn better. So, here's what we started with. It's an acoustic guitar and the amp line out. It's got some chorus, some reverb, a little bit of EQ, you know, rolled off the bottom end of it. It's from that amp there, this Troubadour amp. It's got, this is not how it was set when I recorded this, but these are the controls you've got. I'll just cover that so you can see it. It's a, a chorus effect, just with a speed control, that's all, or an in and out. Now you've got your basic volume, but the middle is like a sweep middle. You can cut or gain. I think I had that set to 150 hertz and was cutting it, you know, about that, about that much. Pretty thin sound. It's from this guitar here, which is not surprisingly a thin sound. It's just that's the characteristic sound of the guitar. It's really very thin. That's the mixer. Just had a little bit rolled off the bottom end. Obviously I've been mucking around changing things. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that first track. And initially I was trying to, you know, left right these two. So that's what this is like. This is the second take. Just turned up a bit so can... Acoustic it's empty eyed and so this one was straight into the mixer. Uh, no effects, just the mixer EQ. I was trying to left right it with the first one. Feeding the acoustic guitar direct into this channel and sending the effects and coming out the effects and from here in back into the amp and coming out the lamp amp line out into the second channel and left you know, panning left and right recording the server and this was the result these two tracks here which I've muted and separated and muted. Um, this is what they sounded like. It wasn't very good, but I guess you give you an idea anyway. Plus, I, I got out of time. Oops, muted again. This is the reverb return. Yeah, 
I thought I had to talk. the results of that so I went on to a th just trying to do the, the second part to the riff which is this part These are both coming from the amp with effects. I've just tweaked the effects between each one so they're not exactly the same. That one's got it like a faster chorus. Um, less reverb. This one's got more reverb. And a slower chorus. Slightly different EQ. Anyway, so together this is what. Okay, I'm going to skip that track there. I don't like those two tracks. Do so if I if I I'll keep this top two first two takes all part one. I'll call it these two part one parts on the left and. These two part two parts on the right. Mm, look at that again. Thank you. 
This to all this is there's no hum, and if I stand at a different angle, the hum is really quite pronounced. You can, that's the hum, and that's when I'm standing at about the right angle. The hum's actually coming from the guitar itself. It's to do with the uh, the settings on the guitar. It's to do with the coil pickup. If you can see this, and these two buttons here, or sliders. Uh, actually, this one is a balance between the, the piezo and the coil. And that's the coil. And this is the piezo. And this coil is really, really noisy. Really noisy. So that's where that hum's coming from. And if I stand at the wrong angle, or the right angle, you know, it goes away. But the wrong angle, it really gets quite pronounced. Anyway, so... For anything of this. Uh, here's the pedal. All I used that for was just to get the, the drum beat, which I got coming out of this amp, which is not connected to anything else. And I just turned on. Just a basic beat from the pedal. Haven't been using it for any guitar effects yet. I thought I'd experiment with that as I go, but just getting started with these ideas. See what we can do. As you can see, I'm uh, my good old Windows 98. I mean, no, not Windows 98. It's more modern than that. It's XP. Um, yeah, so, and this is a pretty weak... It's actually this bottom computer here. It's pretty poor. But, yeah, usable.